Today, for American Artist Appreciation Month, August, I would like to read a poem by the American poet Louis Clark, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2020. I normally have more roses, but this summer the roses in my neighborhood haven't been so great. I found just this one. I always like to have a rose. Um, it smells delicious. The poem is August, so it's perfect. It's a lovely poem about dreams and reality, I think. My sister painted her nails fuchsia. A color named after a fruit. All the colors were named after foods. Coffee frost, tangerine sherbet. We sat in the backyard waiting for our lives to resume. The ascent summer interrupted. Triumphs, victories, for which school was a kind of practice. The teacher smiled down at us, pinning on the blue ribbons, and in our heads we smiled down at the teacher. Our lives were stored in our heads. They hadn't begun. We were both sure we'd know when they did. They certainly weren't this. We sat in the backyard watching our bodies change. First bright pink, then tan. I tripped baby oil on my legs. My sister wrapped polish remover on her hand. Tried another color. We read, we listened to the portable radio. Obviously, this wasn't life. The sitting around in colored lawn chairs. Nothing matched up to the dreams. My sister kept trying to find the color she liked. It was summer. They were all frosted. Fuchsia, orange, mother of pearl. She held her left hand in front of her eyes, moved it from side to side. Why was it always like this? The colors so intense in the glass bottles, so distinct, and on the hand almost exactly alike, a film of weak silver. My sister shook the bottle. The orange kept sinking to the bottom. Maybe that was the problem. She shook it over and over, held it up to the light, studied the words in the magazine. The world was a detail, a small thing not yet exactly right. Or like an afterthought, somehow still crude or approximate. What was real was the idea. My sister added a coat, held her thumb to the side of the bottle. We kept thinking we would see the gap narrow, though in fact it persisted. The more stubbornly it persisted, the fiercely we believed. So, this was a beautiful poem, thank you, and it is from my book, She Walks in Beauty, which is a symbol of poems by Caroline Kennedy, and I think it's perfect for August, with school starting, and such a wonderful American poet, please clock. Have a wonderful day.